Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Rich here today, and I've had a whole bunch of people asking me, I've seen that you have two displays, and your TV hooked up, and I guess they're having problems doing it, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, it's really easy, and this is what I've got set up. So I've got it for video editing, so I can grab stuff and drag it over here, and then do, you know, computer stuff over here. As you can see, it's really easy. Um, all you have to do is identify your monitors, oh, or identify as you can see it says one two because it's showing that on my TV right now and this is number three because I want it as its own entity as I'd like to put it and then this is one and two how it's wired I have both the monitors on DVI's I have two DVI slots so I have two HDMI to DVI adapters uh, right here and then my actual or my actual big television is in the HDMI slot so that way it gets the best resolution because it's the one that's going to need that higher resolution because it's a huge screen. Whereas these two, it's such a small screen, 720, 1080, we're basically going to look the exact same. So it doesn't really matter, even though, you know, like I said, all I did was put these two on DVIs and it's worked great. Again, if you're sliding cards it's or cross-firing, you can just plug a monitor into each HDMI and run your big display off of another, or maybe you're four sliding or something like that, and you have four cards in. I don't know. If you've probably got that set up, you're not watching my video, but um, yeah, as you can see here, I've got this set up. So the, this one, I can drag items over here so I can continue working here while this is doing its stuff on the side, and that's how that's wired. I come over here. And you will see that this screen is mirroring the one with the task. Now, if you don't want that, if you want this to mirror your extended display, so you can watch movies on here while someone's searching the internet, you can always do that too. Just mirror uh, one with three rather than two or one and two. Or it just depends on where your monitor is. That's why you have to identify it, find out which monitors are, are which number, and then have it mirror the number that you have that you want it to mirror. That's the best way to put it. Now, after I've got that, you can see everything's set to 1080p resolution. I've got them duplicated. This is something, again, as it says multi-monitors, once you set it up, it can be fun to set up, and once you get it set up, it's all good. The connections are easy to make. DVI adapters you can buy pretty much anywhere or online for cheap, and then you just hook up your HDMIs. So, yeah, that's how I got my whole movie set up and all this hooked up. I hope this helps you out if you're trying to hook up three or more monitors. Uh, and again, I hear there's different softwares, but like I said, I always used Windows 7. If you're running Windows 8, I don't have the software to show you, but I imagine it's kind of like it. Again, I just don't like the way uh, Windows 8 is laid out, so I don't have a setup for you. If this does help you out, if you could press that like button, that'd be sweet. And of course, you can watch my other videos just by pressing that subscribe button and checking them out. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.